بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از رستم اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ریکارڈ اے ویری اسپیسیفک لیکچر فار بی ایس سکس مسٹر اسٹوڈنٹس اسٹڈینگ سائیکل لنگوسٹکس کورس ایٹ گورنمنٹ ڈگری کالج حویلیہ ہاؤ اوور دس لیکچر کین بی ایکولی بینیفیٹیڈ فرام ادر اسٹوڈنٹس بی ایس اسٹوڈنٹس ہو اسٹڈی ان ڈفرنٹ کالجز آف خیبر پختونخوا ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از ریسرچ پور رائٹنگ and uh, this uh, particular uh, video lecture is uh, being recorded uh, uh, as a guidance for uh, data analysis of uh, the projects i gave uh, to my six semester students and uh, they have been tasked to write different chapters of uh, research report and uh, today i thought that i should explain Uh, uh, the data analysis but uh, when I'm uh, going to explain data analysis in chapter 4 of research board I would also like to mention how different parts of research board are uh, linked together so right from the title page till the end that is chapter number 5 findings and conclusion so everything uh, relates to the main topic the topic or the problem which we have been investigating so this is the format of the document that is it has got five chapters now i'm going to show a report uh, which is uh, written by me but i have put uh, the name of some bs students in it so this after listening to this lecture uh, my six semester students who have been given different uh, research tasks or research problems they can uh, write their own uh, reports now in front of you is the title page of the research report or thesis and as you can see uh, the title is factors affecting english language speaking proficiency of bs students in public sector colleges in hazara khyber pakhtunkhwa a case study so the title indicates that it's a case study case study mean that only one college uh, is going to be uh, discussed in this research project and as you can see uh, variables have been mentioned that is we are going to investigate factors okay factors this is one of the variable and another variable is speaking proficiency speaking proficiency of bs students so these are different key uh, uh, points public sector colleges okay so here we are delimiting our research that is no private college is going to be part of it province is being restricted uh, division is being restricted case study means only one college is being mentioned so the title uh, usually uh, which is, which should not be uh, which which is usually 10 to 12 words and here its font size usually is 16 and uh, <coughs> the font style is times new roman throughout the report and uh, now the uh, title gives uh, a clue to what type of uh, topic we are going to have in 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 in, in the uh, research study so factors affecting english language speaking proficiency of bs students so this is the title and just after title let me minimize we write the name of the researcher here i have just put the name of asha wazir uh, who is a six semester student studying at government degree college of elia so it's a, B, a bs level research so there are so many other technicalities which uh, i just uh, i'm not going to uh, touch upon uh, just i'm uh, guiding you for a simplified version of research report uh, cuz uh, you are in 6th semester now and uh, in 7th semester you will be taught a subject known as research methodology and uh, you will be introduced to uh, so many technical terms and when you get uh, when you move into 8th semester then you have to select your topics if you opt for research th- uh, then you can have your topics etc so i thought uh, usually uh, i try to uh, warm up students towards research uh, in the earlier semesters and uh, usually i guide students when they are in 3rd semester so uh, i start giving uh, mini research projects in third semester and then uh, uh, one project in fourth and then fifth and then sixth so by the time students get into sixth semester they have already you know uh, uh, done 
few mini projects and all the technicalities or the uh, the whole of the terminology research terminology is introduced to them piece by uh, piecemeal but uh, in this college i i just uh, i have given research projects to only six semester students so you are new so you can just be uh, have uh, you just can have this idea that after the title we write the name of the researcher and then you can write even the name of the supervisor as well supervised by supervised by mean this study is being supervised by mr rustam uh, and then the designation then we put the uh, logo or monogram of the college but later on i'll guide you that you have to insert here the logo of the university and then you have to mention department of english college and then date so this is your title page so each one of the five groups uh, because i have assigned five mini projects to uh, uh, 26 students in the college so uh, the way i have designed this title page rest every group is requested to design your own uh, this uh, title page after the title page as you can see i'm scrolling up this is a bismillah page it's optional you can write it or it is up to you then we have dedication again it's an optional page but usually we write a dedication so you should write a dedication here this is a pdf file which i am recording a voice a voice recording but i am after this uh, lecture video lecture i will email you both uh, pdf file as well as uh, ms word file so you can utilize ms word file and you can uh, change your names uh, and you can insert your relevant data into this file so it's a a4 page and uh, the top margin is 1 inch here then we have 1 inch uh, here uh, a right margin and the bottom margin margin is uh, margin is also 1 inch so 1 inch means 2.54 cm so if you have cm page set up so you must know but the left margin has been uh, kept 1.25 inches okay Uh, cause uh, when you uh, bind when you have the document bu uh, bound so th this much space gets into the binding okay now after this we have acknowledgement page i have kept is uh, it as blank now declaration it is filled so you can see the work presented in this thesis was carried out by myself this declaration is from a student okay under the supervision of rustam assistant professor of english the results and conclusions of the present study are my own after a number of different discussions with my supervisor i have not presented any part of this work for my other degree so here the student should write uh, his or her name and uh, also the signature okay then here is the certificate by the teacher okay like i i have certified that to the best of my knowledge the above statement is correct so i am going to Uh, affix my signature here so this page is known as declaration okay this is personal de declaration now there sh there is another certificate known as institutional certificate okay the institution where you are uh, graduating from uh, gives a certificate this is also placed in the research report in this uh, uh, certificate as you can see now it is written for you so you don't need to worry you just have to uh, you know uh, change your name okay this is to certify that the dissertation title factors affecting english language speaking proficiency of bs students in public this and that okay submitted by aisha wazir so aisha wazir can uh, put her uh, registration number here and other students can put their own names okay for the award of bachelor in studies is based on the results of study carried out by him in government degree college of elia under our guidance and supervision during the research the dissertation or any part of it has not been previously submitted for any other degree dissertation mean a thesis a research report so this certificate is being given by me because i am the internal examiner i am the supervisor and then there will be another uh, uh, you know external sub uh, supervisor so i have just mentioned uh, the name of my own supervisor here uh, without uh, you know uh, having his name yet but you, uh, the college will invite someone from the university and whosoever comes is our our name will be inserted here external examiner okay and then head of the department's name is put here so after this we have table of contents page it is ready so you just have to insert page numbers here okay page numbers 
and uh, I won't spend much time and this is simplified version of the uh, you know uh, table of contents like title page inner title I haven't included inner title so you can in, uh, exclude it dedication declaration certificate table of contents acknowledgement list of abbreviations there are no list of abbreviations in this uh, report so you can skip it list of tables you can skip it list of appendices yes and abstract so these are preliminary pages so you have to mention uh, the page number in romans like uh, title page is not numbered okay so after the title if there is an inner title you have to mention a roman uh, numeral like this and dedication will come at page number two like this these are uh, uh, roman numerals like this okay then uh, chapter one introduction so background of the study so here you have to mention page number one this is your page number one so actual report starts from here okay and uh, statement of the problem is usually on the same page so you will write page number one here because the same page will be mentioned objectives may be on the next page hypotheses research questions significance of the study and delimitation this way all the chapters are mentioned and uh, it is the exact document okay the document uh, dealing with the uh, topic so after this uh, abstract it is usually written at the end of the report so now Aisha Vizir, your project is ready you can write down your own abstract in order to know what we include in the abstract I have already provided you some sample usually we in the first line we mention our topic okay and then we mention population okay and uh, sample size and the data collection tool we used and the link between the variables are the main objective of the uh, study and then we give the results as well okay it is a it's a it's a kind of summary so if somebody is reading your report uh, the abstract should guide him or her to uh, read further or not so it, it is a very you know immaculately written uh, uh, piece of paper uh, piece of uh, writing now here is chapter one now from this point onward everything should be related to your main problem so background of the problem problem means your topic okay research area uh, some gap in the uh, current situation and the ideal situation which you are trying to fill or that which you are trying to uh, uh, investigate so as you can see uh, our, our problem is actual uh, uh, this topic is uh, affect factors affecting speaking proficiency of BS students so uh, it means speaking proficiency is very important variable okay so now BS students speaking proficiency and factors these three things these three constructs should be part of introduction so you can see the first paragraph is speaking proficiency is a set of many sub skills such as fluency standard pronunciation okay so uh, in the second paragraph uh, I mentioned foreign language learners face many challenges okay while speaking English in Pakistani classrooms, English is taught as a foreign language with too much focus on reading and writing skills. Oral skills are almost neglected. Now here, speaking proficiency are oral skills. It is being brought in the introduction chapter, okay? So as a result, it's a general observation that students at all levels are shy and hesitant in producing spoken language. Now third paragraph. In Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, because study is being conducted in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, so in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, semester system of education called BS four-year program has uh, has been introduced to 162 colleges. So you can see BS four-year program is being mentioned. Both male and female students get enrolled in these uh, programs. Medium of instruction is English. It's observed that BS students are not very proficient in speaking skill. There can be many factors. See, I have brought the word factors. There can be many factors contributing to this non-proficiency such as psychological, financial and social. The current study aims at, aims at finding these factors which affect speaking proficiency of BS students. So for a BS research and just it's a warm-up research project, uh, just I'm trying to uh, educate you about research. 
so i have written only three paragraphs as you can see here so all the uh, technical terms have been brought here okay factors bs students semester system of education bs uh, four year program speaking proficiency and khabar uh, pakhtunkhwa etc so everything is mentioned okay so now after this statement of the problem okay a ba student has already been exposed uh, to target language for about 12 years before he or she gets enrolled for four year bachelor in studies program he she is expected to speak english fluently so this is the ideal situation okay now contrary to this assumption or situation ba students are found lacking in speaking proficiency this is the current situation so in a statement we first give the ideal situation and then we give the uh, current situation so after having gotten 12 years of uh, education from kindergarten to fsc and fa it is generally expected that they must be fluent but uh, general observation is that that they are not very fluent in speech so both the situations have been mentioned now uh it is because of uh, many factors that is uh, the uh, lacking of uh, proficiency the purpose so actual statement starts from this uh, sentence the purpose of the present study is to find out those factors which inhibit uh, inhibit ba students from fluent english speech as you can see so the purpose of the present study is being explained population of the study comprises 388 ba students of government degree college of elia a sample comprising 30 ba students was randomly selected to record their opinion a closed ended questionnaire was used to collect data so you can see statement of the problem although this is not well written statement at bs level later on we are going to modify it and we are going to fine tune it but just to give an idea to fourth semester student because uh, they are also uh, having a research in phonetics and phonology and usually uh, we don't uh, teach research skills at such an early stage but my way of teaching is that uh, students should be thrown into some uh, new topic and uh, gradually they you know struggle and uh, they just get few things and automatically when actual time comes for research they are they are already uh, familiar with terms uh, related to research so hope you have got how to write a statement so this statement has been written for the project factors affecting speaking proficiency of bs level students so in this project there are five students so all the five students can use this uh, you know statement and but other uh, groups uh, should uh, design and devise their own statements like this after the statement we give objectives objectives of the study so it's a technical term but right now quickly let me uh, give you the objectives pertaining to the topic the following were objectives of the study to find out the ratio of impact on speaking proficiency of bs students of each of the three important factors such as psychological financial social and linguistic environment so this fourth one has been just added by me so there are three factors so each one uh, is you know affecting speaking proficiency so objective of the research is to find out which one of the three impacts the non proficiency more our students can't speak english so what is the factor which one is the factor of the three which influences them the most whether their social background their financial background or psychological factors like anxiety motivation and fear some other factors so this is one of the objectives second objective is to investigate if social background uh, just a minute if social background of the learner has any effect on speaking performance third as you can see we uh, object everything is related to the main topic so main topic is speaking proficiency so third is to find out how much economic status or background of the learner contributes towards english non proficiency of ba students fourth objective is to determine correlation between exam system and ba students low english language proficiency like it is also uh, an assumption that our exam system exam system 
is a is a is a major factor because of which our student can't speak english so four objectives have been set so the way you have we, you have written objectives you can convert these objectives into hypotheses which are predictions following hypotheses were formulated regarding ba students english proficiency again the word english proficiency so the topic is mentioned again and again now here is a statement students belonging to villages are less proficient in spoken english than the ones coming from cities so this is how we write hypothesis hypothesis so you just predict that uh, people living in villages they are not good speaker of english so now your research is going to tell you whether this hypothesis is correct or incorrect okay financially strong students have better oral proficiency than those with less financial resources again uh, there was an objective like this now this is another statement known as hypothesis uh, later on inshallah uh, when you uh, study research methodology in 6 semester uh, we'll guide you uh, what is an hypothesis and how is it written okay fear of making mistakes publicly stops be a students from speaking english in the class insufficient target language exposure causes poor uh, output among b a students it means that uh, uh, they are not much exposed to uh, english in the class teachers speak urdu so teacher uh, students are not provided much opportunity to listen to target language that's why uh, they can't speak so this is an assumption this is a, a guess this is a surmise okay this is a prediction about the outcome of the study and need of target language in pakistani context determines proficiency level of bs students if the need is more they will speak more english non proficiency is controlled by reading writing based exam system so this is another assumption prescribed english syllabus doesn't cater to bs students oral skill development so these are some of the hypotheses set formulated which will be tested uh, in this project now research questions so hypotheses and research questions they are the same thing uh, research questions are actually a form of hypothesis okay but uh, i have inserted these to guide you that this is another option for you so are city students more proficient in spoken english so here uh, i should have written that study is going to answer the following question our study answered uh, try to uh, attempt attempted to find the answer to the following questions does financial status of parents have any effect on spoken proficiency of students does fear of making mistake adversely affect students oral proficiency oral proficiency speaking uh, skill etc spoken english so they are the same thing okay is low exposure to target language a cause of non proficiency in spoken english does no immediate need for speaking proficiency hinder students speaking skill is reading writing based exam system a cause of poor spoken proficiency of ba students so these are research questions so your chapter number 1 is going to end here is the significance of the study so you have to mention that why you are conducting this research you have to justify your research who is going to benefit from this research now the topic is factors affecting speaking proficiency of ba students now see who is going to uh, how to write significance bs for you program is fast replacing traditional systems of education in pakistan after the year 2020 two year bs bsc will be completely replaced with semester system of education already in khyber pakhtunkhwa bs semester system has been introduced in 162 colleges higher education department is closely watching the colleges being faced by both teachers and students in this system challenges being faced the current study will provide an authentic document about ba students linguistics proficiency as english is the medium of instruction in this program second there is no previous study on the topic uh, speaking proficiency of ba level students in the region once it is established as to which factor affects ba students speaking proficiency the most remedial measures can be taken results of the study can be utilized by teachers in english language teaching as well as textbooks writers 
so these are some of the beneficiaries who are going to benefit from this study and delimitations the study is delimited to the following data on speaking proficiency of bs students of only two colleges will be taken for the proposed study uh, here actually uh, i wanted to write uh, one college and was taken okay B, uh, bs students of only public sector colleges will constitute the population of the study okay only social economic and uh, psychological factors were investigated in the study okay so you have to use the term were investigated in the study so your chapter number one is over so the way i have written uh, chapter number one for this project factors affecting speaking proficiency other projects uh, students of other projects should write their report on the same line now comes chapter number two and if the video size uh, gets larger so i may record uh, part second or even part three of this research report so you need to watch all the three parts in order to get an idea because in every part i'll be touching upon some technical terms so your research report will be uh, actually written on a4 paper okay and margins are 1.25 inches left margin top 1 inch right 1 inch and bottom 1 inch and whenever you are going to print it out it should be on 80 gram paper or 90 gram paper but as it is just a practice research so you can get it printed at 70 gram paper and font size throughout the report is times new uh, sorry font, font style throughout the report is times new romans okay and uh, font size for uh, title page is 16 uh, the topic rest in every chapter your heading should be 14 uh, font size 14 bold and subheading 12 bold and the text 12 and non bold okay now let's move into chapter number two as you can see on the screen your chapter is uh, uh, in the center of the page okay chapter 2 its font size is 12 and literature view as you can see it is written in 14 bold now as you can see the left uh, side of the page uh, let me magnify now you can see clearly so this is 12 font size is 12 and this font font size is 14 but it is bold now here 2.0 it means the chapter number 2 starts and here there is introduction of this chapter introduction of this chapter and uh, this i usually keep uh, 12 bold but some uh, you know some uh, in uh, you have to follow apa style so all the specifications are given in the apa style now this chapter presents a framework of the present study and summary of previous work on the topic so theoretical framework usually researches uh, are based upon some uh, models or uh, theories so theoretical framework means what theory supports this research like speaking proficiency or non uh, speaking proficiency so uh, there are many theories like interactionism interactionism says that uh, uh, foreign language learner or second language learner speak language when they are uh, given uh, interactions uh, when they involve in conversations and uh, behaviorism says uh, habit formation okay and uh, dr stephen creation model says that uh, students should be exposed to target language so i have given some framework here just it is uh, rudimentary and uh, just i'm trying to uh, educate bs students that th there's a technical term framework Learning a second language means gaining competence in systems such as phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, and pragmatics. So there are many theories of second language learning such as behaviorism, mentalism, interactionism, acculturation, and monitor model and cognitive theories. Present research. Here you have to mention your own study. Present research does not have a specific theory uh, as its foundation. However, it can take data from all theories. Imitation is emphasized in behaviorism. Pronunciation is learned by imitation of native speech. 
habit formation is another construct of behaviorism so in pronunciation too habit formation is involved input is construct of all theories so the current study does not have a special theoretical framework now review of related literature related li literature mean the researches conducted uh, in the past but the topic was the same that is non proficiency of uh, non proficiency speaking uh, spoken language non proficiency so here you have to mention at bs level uh, in a, this uh, you know a uh, mini project research project because uh, you have been introduced to research at the early uh, stage uh, let's say four semester students are also doing research and six semester so you can uh, give reference to uh, five to seven studies in this uh, part of the report so in this section some studies pertinent to the factors influencing speaking reviewed now it's a piece of academic writing okay see park and lee 2005 it means they conducted a research, conducted a research in 2005 so what they did they both investigated the connection between second language uh, learners uh, anxiety self confidence and speaking performance so 132 korean learners participated in this research Results obtained from this research showed that students' anxiety level had a negative relationship to their oral performance. See, oral performance means speaking proficiency. So, anxiety is a psychological factor that when students are anxious, and uh, so it negatively impacts on their spoken performance. So, their psychological factor has been mentioned in this study. so what is the review of the related literature or literature review that you review the previous study now i have reviewed this uh, previous study but it is it has not been critically reviewed by me uh, i was in hurry so i just uh, uh, gave a reference to an earlier study on the same topic so if a study has already been done on on my topic so why am i doing my topic why am i doing my research actually this study was conducted on korean uh, students i am conducting a study on pakistani students size of this study was sample size 130 132 students so sample size of my study is 30 and uh, maybe some other variables are also changed the most important thing is that this study is being conducted in my context so a study can be reduplicated uh re uh, you know uh, enacted and uh, it doesn't mean that uh, there is no need to reconduct a study okay here is another study in 2020 uh, boon kit carried out a study on the factors enhancing the development of learner speaking skill okay so the same topic which is uh, uh, this uh, which has been given to fifth uh, sixth semester students the results uh, represented that the use of appropriate activities for speaking skill can be a good strategy to decrease speaker's anxiety the results also revealed that the freedom of topic choice urged the participant to feel comfortable so what do we do this whole study may be a thesis of 100 pages and once uh, it may have been published in a uh, research journal and uh, it may comprise now 13 pages so out of those 13 pages this uh, a kind of capsule summary or uh, an abstract from that uh, uh, particular study has been taken and it has been put here but later on inshallah we will guide you that it is not just copy and paste we have to critically review this uh, you know piece but presently you can have this idea that you have to mention few past studies into this area okay so quickly tanveer uh, in 2007 examined the factors ca caused in uh, causing anxiety for learners in learning speaking ability and the impact of anxiety on target language communication so you have to mention the study the population and then the results of the study okay this is known as uh, reviewing a past study okay here uh, rutia and vega 2010 demonstrated that learners oral performance was influenced by their fear of being despised that student don't speak english 
because they think that their uh, classmates will laugh at them so this fear uh, stops them from speaking so this study is reporting all this okay so we are mentioning previous studies in the same domain or on the same topic okay interactionist approach was reported as having positive effect on speaking proficiency in the study of prito in 2007 mr prito uh, sorry ms prito carried a study and carried out a study in which she mentioned the interactionist theory so what uh, what was her result she conducted this study about the cooperative learning task the findings of her study showed that one way to improve speaking skill is to interact with others so this way i have mentioned few studies in this part as you can see here so likewise other students uh, who are doing different projects they have to write their review of the literature so you have to select your own topic and you have to find some studies online uh, website is uh, academia.edu so you can sign up and uh, then you can type in your search bar uh, your topic like i uh, typed factors affecting speaking proficiency so there were few studies and i read through them and then i selected few portions and abstracts and then rephrasing them and i put them here so this is how uh, you know this is one way to approach a uh, literature review there are so many other websites you can uh, find studies and whatever you have mentioned here all the names okay so this is known as in text citation in text citation so this is a short reference so detailed reference must be given at the end of the uh, report which is known as bibliography let, let me take you uh, to the end of the report first okay uh, to show you that this study is mentioned in uh, uh, in depth in detail park and lee let me take you to the top la last page and let me show you the uh, this reference here just a minute park and lee so here as you can see bibliography park and lee 2005 so he, he, here is the topic of their study l2 learners anxiety self confidence and oral uh, performance proceedings of the 10th conference of pan pacific association of applied linguistics so this uh, study was published on pages uh, 107 to uh, 208 uh, edinburgh university and this study was retrieved january 4th 2017 so i mean uh, it it has to be mentioned at the end of the uh, report okay so there were few things which i uh, uh, did quickly cause time was short so hope you have now got chapter 2 how to write chapter 2 lit uh, ex chapter 2 uh, literature review uh, introductory part then theoretical framework and then uh, summary of previous researches now let's go to chapter number 3 so chapter number 3 is known as research methods or research methodology again every chapter has a brief introduction okay so don't confuse this introduction with the main chapter uh, chapter number 1 because the title of chapter number 1 is also introduction so this chapter discusses research design population and sample sampling techniques data collection and uh, analysis procedure research design quantitative research design was used in this study okay past tense a survey method was used to collect data now population sample and sampling techniques so you need to keep the main topic in your mind population was b a student studying in government degree college haveliya so it's a case study when you uh, investigate only one person one institution it is known as a case study in the semester spring 2020 this institute has six b s departments with a total population of 388 students in this semester one department department of physics this uh, this this was the project of aisha wazir okay i just uh, explored my uh, uh, files and i uh, came upon uh, the assignment i 
from the assignment i took the name aisha wazir and uh, in this group there were five students so one of the student was aisha wazir so other four students can also use all this but here they have to replace the name of their department okay so one department was randomly selected through draw technique after this 30 students were randomly selected as per the following table so uh, first semester 10 students were selected third semester five stu uh, 10 students were selected and fifth semester so this project was assigned uh, to uh, you know uh, when uh, they, these were studying in fifth semester and first third and fifth semester okay now instrumentation or instruments data collection tool a close ended questionnaire was used to collect data here you can mention c appendix a because i have placed it at appendix a this document had two parts Part A contained purpose sheet and respondents demographic details. Part B consisted of 22 items. The items were organized under three major themes, psychological factors, social factors and financial factors. Five point Likert scale was used. Okay, some people pro uh, pronounce it Likert and some like it. So it's up to you. Uh, a Likert scale was used to gather responses. For data analysis, Strongly agreed and agreed. These two were merged into one category. The same rule was applied to strongly disagreed and disagreed. Okay, so the scale in simplified form represented only three options agreed, disagreed, and neutral. So here you have to mention, uh, you have to discuss your tool, data collection tool. Study procedure that how did you collect data? So detail has been given here. You can read uh, when I'm going to email this document to you. So you can. So these are few subheadings of chapter three. Okay. Research methodology, introduction, research design, population, sample size, sampling techniques, then instruments, and then study procedure. Now comes the most important chapter: Ch results and discussion. Let me see the timing. Uh, it is a 42 minutes uh, recording now so I'm going to stop it here and uh, please watch a uh, second part of this video so first this part will be uploaded and then the second part will be uploaded and uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this if you have not subscribed the channel uh, channel's name is Rustam's way of learning English please subscribe it and press the bell icon all these video lectures are being recorded in response to COVID-19 uh, pandemic but uh, so uh, generally I don't find time to uh, design a very beauteous uh, or well organized uh, recording so being quite busy with so many other uh, assignments so I just take up uh, my mobile phone Android phone and I start speaking into it and uh, based upon my previous knowledge in all this these areas i keep talking so if i speak something that is irrelevant or you know it is uh, sometime uh, not quite useful i can revisit that i can correct it and i will uh, further upload it but as it is bs level research so it is not for specialized people but particularly those who are doing mphil are PhDs so I am my addresses are BS level students so I'm speaking uh, very basic things later on all these uh, topics and you know all these uh, headings and subheadings will be modified and further explained thank you very much now uh, watch the second part of this lecture